So your starship is flying through space at 99.9% of the speed of light. Hey, aren't you cool? The stars turn into bright, continuous lines. Infinite outer space has shrunk into a tunnel. A bright flash ahead, boom! Starship shoots out of the tunnel like a cork. You see the ancient Earth. The computer says you went back 70 million years. You're a paleontologist of the future who traveled through time for one purpose – to see with your own eyes the most underappreciated dinosaur in history. You have come down to Earth and are walking through the jungle. Suddenly, you hear a mighty roar. There's a dinosaur coming out of the trees. It's more than twice your height and weighs as much as four cars. Scientists have found only two huge arms left of this dino. For 60 years, Dinochirus has been a major mystery in paleontology. Now we can see this creature in its entirety. They managed to find a complete set of fossils in Mongolia. Translated from Latin, the name of this dinosaur means terrible hand. Apparently, this dino was lousy at playing poker. Dinochirus is an animal cocktail that nature has prepared to make you both shriek and laugh. Let's take a look at it from the point of view of the evolution itself. First, we take the T-Rex. Dinochirus and the king of the dinosaurs are about the same size. From the T-Rex, we'll only leave the powerful hind legs and the long tail. Instead of small forelimbs, we'll attach mighty 8 feet long arms. And let's not forget about the fingers with razor-sharp claws. Each claw is as long as a kitchen knife. Then we add a hump like a camel's, a neck like an ostrich's, and a horse's head. And instead of a toothy mouth, we put a duck bill. Now our Dinochirus is ready. It also has long and sharp claws on its flat feet. Such broad soles help it walk along the river bottom and not sink into the silt. Most scientists believe it was covered in feathers, too. Plants were the main dish on this dinosaur's menu. To digest plant food, Dinochirus swallowed stones. Many modern birds do the same. Stones in the stomach grind the tough plant fibers. In one of the Dinochiruses, scientists found 1,400 of those. Yes, this dino had a huge belly, which slowed it down a lot. With such a size, Dinochirus lived for a very long time – 75 to 300 years, give or take. In a 100-million-year-old piece of amber, they found strange bones. They belong to the smallest dinosaur known to science. Take two paper bills from your wallet. This dino weighed the same. It was about the size of a modern hummingbird. Scientists don't know what the tiny dinosaur looked like more – a lizard or a bird. But they're pretty sure it could fly and hunted insects. Over 100 sharp teeth confirm that. What happens when you cross a chicken and a crocodile? You get one of these bad guys, a Hesperonychus. This dinosaur was small but had quite an attitude. It lived in North America and probably hunted mammals. It weighed only 4 pounds and was covered in feathers like a chicken. If the sloth was a dinosaur, it would look like a Sujo lizard. It moved on two legs, was as tall as a modern giraffe, but weighed three times as much. Sujo lizard had feathers on its body, and a long neck helped it look in all directions. Overall, the tail of this dinosaur made it look like a giant rat on two legs. When scientists first saw the fossils of this animal, they didn't believe they were real. The Hulskoraptor looks like a hybrid of a Velociraptor and an ostrich. Only this dino was the size of a goose. The creature's strong hind limbs confirmed that it could walk on land. The dinosaur hunted fish, diving underwater for its prey. Now, we're used to flying animals having two wings, but evolution loves to break the rules. The Microraptor had four wings. Strong feathers were attached to each of those. The dinosaur weighed no more than two pounds. Its feathers were black and shiny like a crow's. There are no birds on the planet that have four wings. That means they evolved from two-winged dinosaurs. Microraptor was the dead-end branch of evolution that didn't give way to any new species of animals. It seems that this hard-to-pronounce guy – I'll give it a shot – Tanistrophus was a dinosaur drawn for a cartoon. But it existed in reality and lived in the water. It weighed 300 pounds and was 20 feet long. Half of its body was a flexible neck the size of a green anaconda. Scientists don't know why the creature had such a long neck. Most likely, the dinosaur used it to catch fish or play jump rope. Imagine that 66 million years ago – I wasn't around then – an asteroid didn't crash into our planet. The dinosaurs didn't disappear and the mammals failed to dominate the Earth. This means the primates didn't evolve and remained in the trees. Who would have taken the place of primates in such a world? Many scientists believe it could be Trodon. The dinosaur had the largest brain relative to body size. It walked on two legs and was about the size of a human. 
Hypothetically, Troodon could evolve and become as intelligent as we humans are now. By the way, the smallest brain relative to body size belongs to Stegosaurus. It was the largest of the armored dinos. It was a plant-eater, but its powerful tail and sharp spikes were feared by all hunters of the age. A Stegosaurus weighed almost 4 tons, but its brain was… meh, not much larger than a hot dog. Pagomastax was no bigger than a domestic cat, and it ran wild and free in Africa 100 to 200 million years ago. Imagine a bipedal lizard that looks like a parrot. Pagomastax was covered both with feathers and porcupine-like quills. It had a beak, but two sharp fangs grew from the lower jaw. Still, the creature's scary appearance is deceiving. The dino ran fast and could bite hard, but it was a peaceful plant-eater all the same. Now, this one, Lenhenicus, lived 80 million years ago. It resembled an ostrich that weighed like a medium-sized parrot. It could run quickly and hunted insects. Instead of arms, this dinosaur grew two tiny fingers with claws on their ends. It's the only one-fingered dinosaur known to science. This strange creature was one of the ancestors of modern birds. J. Holopterus was a flying dinosaur, looking as if it came straight from a sci-fi movie. It looked like a cat with bat wings. The creature was feeding on insects. But there's another theory that it could feed like a mosquito. This dino landed on the backs of large dinosaurs and pierced their thick skin with sharp fangs. Now, this is a fairy tale unicorn. It's as white as snow, beautiful and graceful. And this is a Qingdao lizard, the real-life prototype of that horned horse. A bony horn more than 15 inches long grew on its head. Perhaps the horn helped float in the water, attract partners, or make different sounds. The fairy tale unicorn is definitely cuter than this prehistoric creature. Our next guy, Inostrancevia, resembled a cross between a lizard and a tiger. Imagine an animal that weighs as much as five wild boars with the body length of a sedan. Limbs with sharp claws, fangs similar to those of a saber-toothed tiger, and powerful jaws. It was one of the most dangerous animals that roamed the planet Earth. It occupied a niche that today belongs to lions, tigers, and other large cats. Next, please. Epidexiturus. Now, this is a small dinosaur about the size of a pigeon. It couldn't fly, but it was one of the first dinos with feathers. They were different from those of modern birds, though. They weren't divided into separate threads, but were whole and resembled plant leaves. This big guy, Therizinosaurus, isn't only known for its strange appearance and size. Although it was as tall as a five-story building and weighed like an elephant, the giant was notorious for the largest claws on the planet. It was really a manicurist nightmare. Two-inch-long scythes protruded from its fingers. Despite those horrific appendages, it ate plant food, chewing it with its small teeth. The humongous jaws were needed to pull leaves off of tall trees. Ouch! Hey, I'm growing here! Meet the largest animal that flew in the earthly sky, Quetzalcoatlus. Just imagine a creature with a wingspan almost the width of a basketball court. To lift such a machine, it needed to be lightweight, so it only weighed as much as a modern pig, with its wings looking like a thin membrane. They stretch from the bottom of the legs to the elongated fingers. Artists often depict this creature covered in feathers, but its body was actually coated with fibers similar to human and animal hair. Acrotholus is an unusual dinosaur that wore a cap made of hard bone. No, not a baseball cap. The creature was the size of a Labrador Retriever dog, but not as friendly. It wouldn't run after a stick. Rather, it would rush and ram its hard head into the rival of the same species or a predator.